Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel on a brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm feeling rather good. So, without further ado, I'll get into what the topic of this video, and that is 40 uncollected daily crystals. I think this is probably the last time I'll collect up 40 or kind of a good amount. At the point of this video going live, I'm probably somewhere else on some kind of holiday thing. Uh, and generally just recording a load of content to put out because I want to say spoiler free. So a lot of people might kind of like wonder why I haven't been active so much on Twitter and other things. And that is because I'm trying to avoid any spoilers for Infinity Wars since... Tuesday of the start of this week and running through to today whenever this video decides to go live. Uh, whether or not you've seen any of the other content I've put out this week, I don't know. I've put out Infinity Ball, which is Contest of Memes 3, so hopefully people are enjoying that. But that's just like what I'm doing at the moment. It's just because I'm um, on holiday, because uh, personal commitments that I have to be on that holiday. I don't. I say that like I don't want to be on a holiday. I do want to be on that holiday. It's very important that I'm on that holiday because it's M's birthday on that holiday. So that is incredibly important. But uh, yes, so hopefully by the time that uh, I get back, which is probably going to be um, sometime at the weekend, I, I can't really give any specifics on that. But I should have seen Infinity Wars by then, and I'll probably go out and see it with my friend um, again on maybe Monday. So uh, yeah, lots of opportunities to see Infinity Wars. I, like I said, hopefully I can see it, but also I want to see it for a second time. And do a review, because I, I, I don't know if people would appreciate me doing a review on it. I'm very critical. That's one thing. Uh, I absolutely love those films, uh, the event, uh, the Marvel films, but I am incredibly critical. And that is largely about villains, okay? Funnily enough, a lot. I think I've seen a few sources where they take the mick out, take the piss out of uh, the whole kind of villain aspect to... Um, to most villains from Marvel, in that they never survive, like they, they always die, and the character development is just so lackluster. So I enjoyed the fact that they added in, uh, what was he called? Uh, see, he's so notable of an actor that you just forget about him. Oh, who was it? The Russian guy, I, Whiplash, in uh, the second Iron Man film. Like you build up this like. This resentment in Iron Man 2, this like really kind of core cool resentment, which is based on the father of of Whiplash, and um, it kind of ex extends over the years. Yet to him, just come, hey, I'm coming out of the woodworks now for the second film. Oh, I'm going to be, you know, killed off in the second film. It just like annoys me that they build up this kind of element of need for the villain but then it's all over in a flash no pun intended with DC that's m one of my big criticisms with, with uh, a lot of the Marvel films especially like I said with the villains uh, and if we look at like Ulysses Claw like I loved Andy Serkis's Ulysses Claw he was in Age of Ultron and then when he was came to be in Black Panther they mentioned a good history of him and his time in, in Wakanda or like dealing with Wakanda and it was just like You know, I, I I wanted more. I wanted more from Andy Circus. But that's just me. Like I felt that if they're talking about the kind of the build up and he's been, and Andy Circus's Ulysses Claw has been coming back and forth uh, in and out of Wakanda, then should there be more of a mention? Should there be when they're doing the kind of the backstory bit with his um, his father with uh, T'Challa's father T'Chaka, I think. That I may be dead wrong with that, but when they were doing that build up and they were talking, they kind of went back in time, uh, well, not back in time, but they they kind of flashback. Then why couldn't they reference a lot of the stuff with that? That's just like I said, that's that's my just like major criticism now. That right? I'm just, I'm just gonna pop ten because that's working out well for me. Okay, cool. Um, some tier two alpha. I need a lot more. I really do. So can't wait for the new event to go live next week. It's gonna be amazing. So. Um, I'm just going to spin out the last seven and then pop the last ten. But yeah, that's kind of my general thoughts. Like, I'll leave it up to the comments section. I'll just, like, read through, like, what people's kind of, like, thoughts. Not on the Infinity Wars, because obviously if you do a bit of spoilers, then it's it's not going to be good. But maybe talk about the aspect of villainship and, like, the villainy within Marvel films and how it's, you know, um, you know, it's, it's lacking, really, with regards to... Villains that stay alive for a long time. Uh, looking at uh, Loki. Loki's a kind of a villain 
sometimes a hero to a degree kind of like that anti-hero that we that we don't need but we would want um, if that works out in any kind of way with regards to our rash now either way that's probably the only one I'm just trying to think if there's any others that theoretically stayed alive but it kind of turns into more of a scooby-doo thing I heard that Ronan's going to be Ronan, as in R O N A N, is going to be in the new Captain Marvel film. So I don't know if that's going to be like a prequel aspect. Obviously, they can't bring him back from the dead, unless there's something going on there where that's particularly possible. Obviously, I haven't seen Infinity Wars yet at the point of recording this video, so it could be a case that uh, Thanos uh, stays alive and kind of goes into a second film. I don't know, but. Would that be that villain that's been around for about 10 years just gone like, hey, he's gone. Hi, I'm Thanos. I've not introduced myself, but I've been messing around in the background. Hello, I'm dead. That would be, for me, very disappointing and probably be the only kind of major criticism I would have at a film like that. In any case, I suppose we can't all complain about like having all our favourite superheroes in one place at the same time. That's, you know, that's pretty darn decent. You don't really get that nowadays. Justice League, I enjoyed Justice League. Not a lot of people did. I know if you can look past a lot of the issues and failures, then I thought it was a great film. But again, that's my opinion and could be dead wrong. Oh, not a great opening and I'm still up to that point where I'm not going to get that four star. Uh, so maybe one day I get that. But still, it's really quite handy to get the uh, 1800 tier 2 alpha catalyst fragment. So I shall take that to the bank and kind of close to forming. So hey, I guess that's alright at the same time. So that has been the video guys, if you enjoyed the little chatter about villains, Marvel and the MCU, then hit that like button and subscribe for more Marvel Contest of Champions and kind of Marvel content in any case. I've been Rich the Man and as always I shall catch you on the flip side, bye bye for now.